Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. This video will lead us to the demo of evolutionary multi-objective workflow scheduling in cloud. Cloud computing is useful for execute the applications. It will execute the applications based on the demand of the user. Evolutionary multi-objective optimization is useful for schedule the jobs in the cloud. It includes fitness function, encoding, crossover, mutation and initial population. These techniques are useful for schedule the jobs in the server. At first, basically, the user have to submit the jobs. These jobs are executed in the virtual machines. These machines are present in the cloud. For allocating the job, we have to schedule the jobs on the virtual machines. For the scheduling process, we can use fitness function, encoding, crossover, mutation and initial population. First of all, we have to create the virtual machines because virtual machines are the base for this concept. In this virtual machines, the jobs are executed and then the user have to give the input jobs. These jobs are tell us a workflow in this concept because the jobs are arranged as a workflow. Then we have to calculate the starting time of the process. That is the jobs execution starting time in the virtual machine and then the and then we have to calculate the finishing time of the process in the virtual machine using the starting time and finishing time we can calculate the fitness value the communication and the computation time is used for calculate the starting time and the finishing time based on the fitness value the index is created for the jobs that is need to be assigned in the virtual machines and then Based on the index, the crossover order is executed. It is one of the method used in this project. And then the crossover INS, that is the instance, it is also a one of the method is used to calculate the mutuate order. And then the initial population is calculated for the jobs, that is the workflow present in this concept. Then the jobs are assigned to the virtual machines based on the RAND type orange algorithm. Finally, the jobs are allocated into the virtual machines and then they are executed successfully. First of all, run homepage.java. For that, right click the file and then press run file option. For this project, we have to use workflow sim. It is based on the cloud sim. Now click the enter button. Now we have to create the virtual machines. Now press 10. Press create. And then select the workflow. This is the input data for the process. There are many workflows present in it. In that we have to select one of the workflow. This is called as the input job. This job is to be executed in the 10 virtual machines at last. Before that we have to schedule the process in the virtual machines then click next press workflow this is the workflow that is the jobs the job is also called as a cloudlet the cloudlet id is displayed for the selected job and then the cloudlet length that is the job length is displayed here press next now the computer communication time is calculated for the jobs and then the virtual machines and then the computation time is also calculated for the cloud, cloudlets and then the virtual machines. Then click next. Now the starting time is calculated for the jobs. And then the finishing time is also calculated. Then click next. Now press fitness. The fitness value for the jobs and then the virtual machines are displayed here. Then click next then assign the index value for the fitness value and then click next then sort based on the values that is the fitness values the cloudlets are arranged in a descending order 
so that the index are collapsed here then click next now press order a this is the set of cloudlets we have to taken and then click order b this is the set of cloudlets we have to taken from the total cloudlet list and then click next now cross over order a based on the order a that is present in the before page is used to calculate the crossover order a and then we have to calculate the crossover order b then click next now the crossover ends here there are two types are present in it crossover order a and then the crossover order b or that the instance are displayed here that is called as the crossover instance and then click next now enter the position and then click mutate order cloudlet present in the position is changed then click next and then press run type or ends here the cloudlets are assigned to the virtual machines here the status of that virtual machines and then the cloudlet is displayed here the cloudlet id and then the status whether it is success or failure and then the allocated virtual machine is also displayed here and then the starting time of the cloudlet and then the finishing time are also displayed then click next now here the total execution time is also displayed then we can calculate the total cost and then press cost for each task this is the cost that is calculated for each task that is the cloudlet then click graph now the graph is displayed for the cloudlet execution time and then the cost